Welcome back to MVM. Today I am bringing you a sponsored preview of the game Over Siege from Cause Games. Now this is the same company that brought us Bulk. If you remember, this was a pretty easy to play card game where all you needed was one deck of cards. Over Siege is much the same way. You're going to be playing as two forces, each in control of their own castle, trying to bring down your opponent's walls and eventually capture your king. And this is all done with just two decks of cards. Now if you look here in front of me, I do have the game already set up. Each package of Oversiege is going to come with two decks. You'll have the deck of black cards and the deck of white cards. Each one of these is going to feature six cards that are going to make up the bulk of your game. This is the castle that you're trying to destroy. Now you'll notice each one of these pieces of the castle has symbols. These symbols indicate which weapons can destroy that part of the castle. And that is the key strategic point to this game. You have to use the right weapons at the right time to destroy different pieces of the castle. Eventually, when everything else is destroyed, you'll be able to capture their king as long as you have that key. So that's kind of the goal of the game, but let's talk about how you play. Now, like I said, to set up, you're just going to build these castles. And it's important to note that you're going to see this little blue icon on these two cards here. That's important because it's going to tell you how many cards you draw every turn. Now, when you're setting up the game for the first time, you're going to draw two cards. Each player is going to have two of these. Now mixed into this deck, you're going to have a variety of siege equipment. You're going to have catapults, you're going to have ballistas, you're going to have battering rams, and you're going to have a key, which you'll need to capture that king. Now it's not just enough to have these siege instruments out, you'll also need to load up ammunition. And ammunition is contained in this deck as well. So you're always going to have two cards in your hand. You're going to start with two cards that you drew at the start of the game. Each turn, you're going to draw one card for every single one of these blue symbols you see. Now, at the start of the game, you've just got one, so you're going to draw one card. Of these three cards in your hand, you're going to play until you're down to two. So at the start of the game, you're just playing one card. Now, the thing you're gonna to wanna to play is those siege engines, and you can take a siege engine, and you can put one siege engine on either side of your castle. For example, the black player here has just played a battering ram. Now, the battering ram is no good without the actual ram itself, so I'll have to hope that I draw one in my cards. So that's basically my turn. The next turn I would draw another card, and I can continue playing on from there. Now, once you have a siege instrument out, and for example, I can play out a catapult here, this is going to allow me to actually do damage back to my opponent's castle. But like I said, each one of these weapons needs a very specific piece of equipment to use. For example, the catapult needs these rocks. And you'll notice that this shape here on this card matches exactly with this shape on the tower. This means that I can destroy either one of these towers. Now, in this card, it shows me both symbols so that means I get to destroy both of my opponent's towers in one fell swoop. I'll simply discard this card, and then I get to destroy these by flipping them over. And you'll notice here, there's a gray side to the back of these cards. This shows that your castle's been destroyed. But you'll notice again, these same blue symbols. Here you see half of a blue and half of a blue. This equals up to one extra blue card. So now, the white player is getting to draw two cards on their turn. So they're gonna have a hand of four cards, and they're going to be able to play two of them. So theoretically, they could play out a crossbow, and then immediately fire it if they have the ammo. And again, the crossbow is going to be able to destroy one of these towers. And this process is going to go back and forth. Now, in order to destroy a wall, you'll need the battering ram. The battering ram can destroy the front gate. Now, in order to capture the king, it isn't enough to just have the key. You also have to destroy every single one of your opponent's towers. So you have to get them to a point where their castle is completely defenseless. The only thing left happens to be their king. Now this is harder than it sounds because mixed into this deck, you're going to find two special cards. The first of these is this barrier, protective wall. This is going to protect you from cannon fire, battering rams, and arrows. So the first hit that the opponent makes on you is simply going to destroy this instead. In addition, you're going to have a build card. This build a wall card lets you repair any part of your castle. Now you can look and see what your opponent has out in front of them. Over the course of the game, they're gonna be replacing their weapons as needed. You want to replace something uh, that they don't have. So if they're lacking an archer, 
you might want to repair your archer wall. And it's going to keep going back and forth. Uh, eventually you're going to get to the end of the deck, you're going to pick it up and you're going to reshuffle. So don't worry about having to discard that king key earlier on because you will get a chance to get it on back. And like I said, play is going to continue back and forth like this until one player is eliminated. When one of these castles is completely destroyed, that's going to signify the end of the game and the opposing player has won. And the game can play in about 20 minutes. Now that's kind of the two player game going back and forth and back and forth. However, if you have additional uh, over siege decks, you can actually play with more players. So for example, a four player game set up like this. And you're going to be able to, again, still take turns destroying each other's castles. But in a four player game, the decisions become a lot harder. You have to be aware of the weapons that are equipped in every castle around you because anybody can attack you. And so you can be ganged up on if you're not careful, but you need to make the smart decisions about when to attack. It's not just a simple back and forth in a four player game. You need to be extremely cautious because if you open up a castle for another player they can come in and they can take that king away from you so you don't want to be the one to destroy somebody's castle unless you can capitalize on that king so it becomes much more of a strategic waiting game when you're playing with four players now theoretically you can keep adding in these decks and you can keep making this game bigger and bigger so like i said this is over siege you're going to get both decks both a white and a black deck in every single box it comes in a small little travel container so you can basically bring this game anywhere with you it doesn't require much of a playing surface so guys if you like small card games that you can take with you definitely check this one out it's on kickstarter right now so take a look please like subscribe leave some comments let me know what you think about over siege and i will see you guys next time